Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another video today, Lost Boys. Uh, yeah, again, another movie that I have not seen, and I'm excited to see. Uh, the link is down below for the Patreon, if you can help support the channel. Uh, all my other social media links are there as well. But yeah, let's just get in this now, and have some fun. I told you to stay off the boardwalk. <laughs> okay, boys, let's go. I love Keith Sutherland. He's amazing. Such a good voice as well. Ah! It's a nice fucking car, dude. Ah! So, do they turn into bats or can they just fly? You guys are rough. It's pain, discomfort, no. manipulation. No. Pain, discomfort, manipulation. Ah, a relationship. <laughs> Honey, look, guys, I know the last year hasn't been easy, but I think you're really- Murder capital of the world. <laughs> banging soundtrack, banging soundtrack. Is there any jobs around here? Nothing legal. He's definitely pimping them out day one, and he's nothing legal. Get that booty hole stretched, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good start, and it's just a dead guy on your doorstep. Looks like he's dead. No, he's just a deep sleeper. He's a deep sleeper. Lady, he's on your porch. This is a pretty cool place. Yeah, for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Come on, man. Give me <laughs> So 80s bro and he just carrying weights and his clothes. I can get I can get ripped and put my clothes away, bruh. MTV. Sammy, <laughs> the flat being there two minutes. Gotta get jacked. Gotta get jacked. Hey guys, no running in the house. Talk about the Texas chain. I love how the red lighting makes it even more horrifying. Second shelf is mine. <laughs> That's where I keep my root beers and my double thick Oreo cookies. That, that guy is who I want to be when I get old. <laughs> I love it. Oh man. You know you're in the 80s when there's a, a, an oiled up dude playing the fucking sax like. <laughs> I can't really come here to watch one thing. Well done. <laughs> Go on, take a lolly. You know you want it. Well, how may I help you this evening? We have it all. The best selection of videotapes in Santa Carla. No. <laughs> videotapes. Ah, oh, a time long forgotten. Look, you can't put the Superman number 77s with the 200s. They haven't even discovered red kryptonite yet. And you, uh, you can't put the number 98s with the 300s. Lori the Morris hasn't even been introduced. Well, get it, mate. You're a virgin. <laughs> I say that, but I love comics, and I love comics as a kid as well. The only reason I passed one of my science tests was because of Batman. Like, I knew a bat was a mammal. Only because of a Batman comic, though. Come on, she sniffed you. <laughs> So the vampires are the cool kids on the motorbikes. So does that mean she's a vampire as well? Oh. <laughs> what was that? What was what? I thought I heard something. Forget it. I need to know, are the giant bats or the actually just regular people flying? You hear that, Sam? Just like a baby pussycat. Okay, let's go to town! Well, we haven't found a what? I thought we were going to town. Uh, that's as close to town as I like to get. <laughs> I feel more and more like this dude every second I watch this movie. He's just legitimately me. That is also as close to town as I like to get. As in, never leave the house. Read this. I told you, I don't like horror comics. Think of it more as a survival manual. There's a number on the back. And pray you never need to call us. I'll pray 
I never need to call you. Sure. <laughs> I love how it's the children who are the vampire hunters. Everyone else is clueless, but a bunch of 12 year olds are, are going to save the world. I mean, that's my jam. I love that kind of shit. I can't beat your bike. You don't have to beat me, Michael. You just have to try and keep up. So is that little boy or little girl a vampire as well? Like, or do they just hang around with little kids? I mean, they're all just ridiculously handsome, do you know what I mean? That's the thing with movies, everybody's gorgeous unless there's a plot point that they're not. It's just not fair. What the hell are you doing, huh? No! Just you! Come on! Just you! I mean, mate, you agreed to the bike race. Now you want to fight him. The ground opened up. This place took a header right into the crack. So now it's ours. So check it out, Mikey. So they live in a cave like a bunch of 80s goth goblins. I, act I actually love that. <laughs> One of the reasons I divorced your father was because he never believed in the closet monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy is genuinely 100% my hero. Oh, Dad, really? You shouldn't have. Yeah. That's more where he come from. No, really. You actually fucking shouldn't have, because that's gross, mate. <laughs> I mean, what a present to tell your grandson you actually hate him. How are those maggots? <laughs> maggots, Michael. You're eating maggots, how do they taste? That's a joke, right? Oh! Keith, are you absolute animal! Well, he's definitely not getting that in Target or Best Buy, is he? Yeah, sure. Bravo! Oh, fuck. I love the music. It's really good, like. Definitely sets the tone really well. I like how the fire's, like... Like the 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 view you can see through him at the fire, kind of like his soul's burning because he's becoming a demon or something like that. Like that's how I'm taking it anyway. What's going on? I don't know. What's going on, Pa? Wait a minute. Who wants for <laughs> There's a vampire called Paul. It's like the least vampire name ever, isn't it? I'd change my name if I was a vampire or something more vampire-esque. Do you know what I mean? Bombs away. <laughs> Bottoms up, man. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Paul. <laughs> it's the shittest vampire name ever. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, Michael! Michael Emerson! Yeah! 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 Come on down! <laughs> Let's not and say we did, I. Let's just not and say we did, fella. But when he got into town, we didn't think he'd have a train run on him, like. <laughs> oh, shut up, Paul. <laughs> David's a bit of a shit vampire name as well, to be fair, like. Dave the Vampire. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be letting go either, like. You absolute lunatic just because you saw some maggots and some worms and drank some wine that could have been blood. Oh, well, I trust you in my life now, you absolute specimen. Look, Michael, you know, you come home in the middle of the night, you sleep all day. I work all day. Sam is always alone. You know, it's been a long time since somebody asked me to go to dinner. I'd like to go. Okay. She's been divorced, mate. She's for the streets now. <laughs> She's got to ride that, that video store owner's day. That was disrespectful. I, I don't take it back though, it was funny. You have a big day tonight, Grandpa? <laughs> yeah, I just 
just going to drop by some of my handiwork to the Widow Johnson. Which stuff for? <laughs> Grandpa's got game. I like it. Well, I mean, that wasn't in his head because his brother said, don't go to the door. So they both just saw that and it's just chill, yeah? Uh, yeah, didn't be hurting the dog, mind. You can eat your brother and I'll think not about it, but do not hurt that dog. Your creature of the night, Michael. Just like out of a comic book. Oh, shit. You're a vampire, Michael. My own brother, a goddamn shit sucking vampire. Oh, you eat. Actually, I, th I, th I think the, the suck blood, not shit, mate. So he's obviously not turned into a full vampire yet because he's still got some of his reflection. You did the right thing by calling us. Does your brother sleep a lot? Yeah, all day. Does the sunlight freak him out? Uh, he wears sunglasses in the house. Bad breath, long fingernails. Yeah, his fingernails are all a bit longer. Um. <laughs> How do you know, though? How do you know his fingernails are a bit longer? You just check your brother's fingernails daily, you little creep. You better get yourself a garlic t-shirt, buddy. Or it's your funeral. I love the fact that their parents just look baked out of their minds in the background and they're just letting their kids do what they want. Now we should say calm. Calm? Calm about what? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> this is just making... We should stay calm, even though we're brothers. Flying outside the window. Why well, didn't spill it, Mom? I can't believe you people in the refrigerator doors wide open. Are we just trying to refrigerate the whole neighborhood? You know, it's not fair. I would like to have a personal life. Oh, too. that's that little kid who's on the back of the bike. So why would they want to turn a little child into a vampire though? It's they're never gonna be able to go clubbing or to a nice fancy restaurant. Do you know what I mean? You can't take your children. Imagine going on holiday to one of those adults only places. You're fucked. I mean you can't go out in the sun anyway, but still. You've got a child wait. You've lumbered yourself with a child forever. Just think, vampires. Think. Over here, Michael. What's happening to me, Star? I love the fact that there's a sex scene, right? He's like, what the fuck's happening to us? I'm so scared. What's... Oh, wait a minute. You're kissing us. Yep. Let's just forget all that and just smash. If, if there's a girl... I'm tired, Mom. We could talk about... I'm tired. Well, I mean, to be fair, though, mate, this whole thing did start because of a girl. So you're kind of full of shit, aren't you? Honey, I better bring this up to the house or somebody's just going to take it. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's going to be dead, isn't he? Because the the lost boys um, probably ate him. Fucking hell, that dog is not a fan, like. We're almost certain that ghouls and werewolves occupy high positions at City Hall. Kill your brother. You'll feel better. <laughs> Just do a murder. Just do a murder because of a comic book. You'll feel better. Well, you're the man of the house, and I'm not coming in until you invite me. You're invited. Oh, he's definitely a vampire, like. You've got to invite a vampire in your house. So he is head vampire boy. Solved it. I clocked it, lads and lasses. But only because of Buffy, though. <laughs> it's not cheese. It's, it's garlic. <coughs> I bet you hate garlic, don't you? No, I like garlic. It's just a little much. <laughs> it's raw garlic. Oh, wow. So he's not a vampire, then. Oh! Oh. Sam, what the... Is that holy water? He's obviously not a vampire. <laughs> I'm not trying to replace your father or steal your mother away from you. So he's, he's just a stand-up dude then, because he's got a reflection. He loves garlic. The holy water didn't burn him. So it was just obviously being a gentleman. Like, could I come into your house? And I'm like, that motherfucker's a vampire! Let's get him! <laughs> I want you going down there. Well, I'm going. Look, this isn't a comic book, Sam. I mean, these guys are brutal killers. So are the Frog Brothers. Check me. I love how literally that only training has been that comic book and they're just about to fight a bunch of vampires. No! Oh shit. No hesitation. Dude just went straight for him. I like it. Very brave. Very brave. Wow, that was actually quite a cool shot. Like, I'm looking at his hand and then a tear falling from his face. That was pretty fucking cool. I like that. 
I mean, obviously he's not human in any way, but it kind of humanized him for a split second. I genuinely felt a little bit sorry for him. You know the rule about filling up the car with gas when you take it without asking? No, Grandpa. Well, now you do. I love the fact that they're just carrying two unconscious people and Grandpa's just like, Bitch, did you fill up my tank? <laughs> but then again, it's one of those things that, well, if I don't ask, I don't have to know, do I? Well, that's Marco down. Who we're we gonna kill next? Paul the Vampire. I mean, that is a ludicrous name for a vampire. Like, Paul. I hate my name. Obviously, if you just don't know, I am called Paul. It's a terrible vampire name. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, God. The cleaning bill is gonna be horrendous. <laughs> yeah, I got a bit of a fright there. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, there you go. Consider that problem solved, eh? David and my boys misbehaved. Oh, shit. He is a fucking vampire. Don't ever invite a vampire into your house, you silly boy. It renders you powerless. Did you know that? Of course. Everyone knows that. Well, he clearly didn't know that because what happened was he ate garlic. He had a reflection and holy water did nothing. Well, consider that game over, pal. I knew Grandpa was the real hero. Yeah, I just knew it. One thing about living in Santa Carla I never could stomach. All the damn vampires. Oh, he knew. I mean, I genuinely fucking loved that. That was amazing. And the fact that Grandpa knew the whole time just makes it even better. I mean, the Lost Boys, Kiefer Sutherland, is... A great actor. I mean, I've, I've seen him in 24 and in Phone Booth and now The Lost Boys. And he played that part really, really well. But like I said, everyone in this movie was just like movie handsome. Do you know what I mean? Everyone, the vampires, the, the, the main Michael, I think his name is. Like, it's just ridiculous. All movies are just that's so pretty. Um, the soundtrack was fantastic. I, I, I love a, a good soundtrack. I could listen to every single song on, the, on this movie. Uh, time and time again and I, I probably will it'll just be added to my spotify list um but yeah the guy being invited in and then he could eat garlic oh well no because then the vampire said garlic didn't work did it but the holy water shut off and well the reflection so when he's invited in he loses all his powers but then he becomes uh, a human i suppose um and then obviously you're not suspicious because I wasn't. I was like, that motherfucker's a vampire. But then obviously I, I thought he wasn't. Turns out he was. But uh, when he was like fanged up and then his, his teeth, like he's fanged up and his teeth, well, of course, are the same thing. And uh, he stuck his tongue out. Like that was that was creepy, man. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm glad I haven't seen, I hadn't seen the movie because I get to react to it and you just get to see my reaction. Um, and I'm enjoying the movie reactions as well. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know if there's any sequels, and if there is, would they be worth watching? I mean, this was literally perfect. It was really funny. And now, I don't know if it's supposed to be, but I mean, I'm assuming it's a comedy horror. Um, but I really, really did enjoy it. The comedy was great. The Well, what I thought was comedy anyway. Um, the makeup was great. The one thing I would say is I would like to see them kill more people. Um, you just got like a, a POV shot of flying and then people just disappeared. I would have liked to have seen more of that. Um, but I suppose there was set in the mystery. Uh, obviously, I don't know, 1987 people would have just went in not knowing what it was about. And obviously I knew what it was because I had a lot of people telling us what it was about. Uh, it was a movie about vampires, so I went in knowing. But, um, overall, a really, really great film that... I will definitely watch again. It'll become a Halloween staple in my house for sure. Um, so yeah, thank you as ever for coming out to these reactions. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you're new, like and subscribe. And I'll see you all again very soon for more reaction videos.